August 2nd, 2000, uh, 2022. This morning, the Smoke Rider fire has burned nearly a thousand acres on the Blanco Hayes County line. Multiple crews are battling the Smoke Rider wildfire. There was ash falling from the sky and you could just really feel the heat. Unfortunately, the Smoke Rider fire did destroy at least three homes and a trailer. The Smoke Rider fire broke out in Blanco County on Tuesday afternoon. And we were driving back at probably 930, maybe 10, something like that. It was before noon. I saw the smoke. It was well before noon. Yeah, and then we saw the smoke and we got home, got you in the bed, and then we had 10 minutes to evac. Okay. What do you grab in 10 minutes? What do you grab in 10 minutes? Your dad called me the second time and he's like, we did everything we could, but the containers are on fire, the playground's on fire, the trampoline's on fire, Johnny's office is on fire. And he's like, I'm so sorry. And he's like, it's, it's gonna take the house. And that was the moment that I knew that it was gone. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Lordy, Lordy. Give us a miracle, Lord. I remember driving back on about, probably about two or three hours after the, the wave had come over. And I'm driving over here and it's just like, this whole hill right here, you couldn't see from the driveway over trees. here before all, all of this, this was trees. just like burned. This was all trees. <laughs> the fire marshal let us back in after like the main threat was down and they had a truck on the property and, and we were driving back in and dad was like, they saved the house and dad was super joyful and he was right to be joyful there. But I kind of looked at him and I was like, I'm glad my house is not burned, but I need you to tone down the joy a little bit. I was like, because this is freaking tragic. I don't think he realized at that point yeah. what all was I lost. I don't think anybody could have until you walked it and saw it. All you had to do was look at the burn pattern. I mean, this fire went like this. It went, came all the way across here, burned all of this, burned to the foundation of the house, and then just went around split, it. Split around and the house. And then about a hundred yards north of our house, it came back together and freight trained like no, 2,000 acres. Yeah. I mean, contiguous burn, no splitting in at all. And then we came out here to see if Coach made it. Coach was our dog and his, his grave's still there. I don't know how he made it, but he I don't did. Know either. Straighten this cross up. The rocks over him probably helped. Yeah. It's good because the ground's soft. Get it in there. Yeah. It's our bulldog. There's no way to like really show you, show you what this used to be. I mean, these trees were towering everywhere. I mean, it just felt like you were in the middle of nowhere. Like you could get lost on the property so easily because you're like, where's the house? Like, how do I get back? I remember being worried about the kids coming out here on their own because they would get lost. But now it like feels so small. Yeah, it took our, it took used our to feel huge. 20 acres and made it feel like a postage stamp. I don't know why it hurt me so much, but I heard so many people said, it'll grow back. And I was like, I know they're trying to offer comfort, but like, and I, it will grow back but not in our lifetime. It will never be for us what it was. And just go we explore. About and raising kids on this property and them having all this property to play in. And that ditch back there in the back, that's where their fort was. But it used to have trees, you know, yeah. covering it. It was very mysterious. Yeah. Blood, sweat, tears into this place for 10 years. And then in an afternoon, just goes away.
You okay? Yeah. What are you thinking about? Stuff that didn't happen, you know. Like the kids. Cheesy dad stuff, you know. Well, I don't think it's cheesy. Those were dreams we had when we bought this property, was raising our kids here and then growing up in the woods and being out. I mean, nowadays, like, you can't let your kids go outside and play safely because people steal kids and you can't do that. And that was part of the reason why we wanted to buy this land is so that they could safely go outside and play and be protected. And we had dreams of them growing up out here and, you know, running and playing in the woods and us having to ring a cowbell at night to get them to come in because we didn't know where they were. But we knew they were safe because they were on our property. Stuff that didn't happen. When he told me that it was going to take the house, I had this like, I had this real sense of like sadness, but I had the sense of peace. I was like, it's okay. Like, it's just stuff. It's changed me. I think, I think, I don't think that'll fade. I think that's changed me forever. And yes. I'm grateful for it. I mean, I would walk through this fire again if I had to because of what it did for my faith. It challenged my faith in a good way. Like, I trusted him even if the house burnt down. I thought the house had burnt down. I thought it was gone. And I was still like, that's that's part of the gift of salvation is that you get peace in trials. Totally. And he gave me that. Like, I was peaceful. I was like, God has something better. I can't imagine it, but he does. The next step is continuing to walk in faith and just continuing in that. It's fun to listen to Holtz and Kennedy too. Holtz. Holtz is eight, Kennedy's five. And it's cool to hear them, to use these as like really hopefully powerful memories for them about how God restores. Yeah, we take a minute and we, um, we thank you God for saving our house from the fire. We thank you for the memories that we're gonna have the opportunity to create here, even if they're different than the memories we thought we were gonna create because it, it looks different. But we thank you for we thank you that we can continue to use this place as a place of healing and love and a place of um, community for family and friends and folks to come um, and break bread. We pray this in your name, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay. Who wants potatoes? Me. Who wants bread?